Hi friends, you're welcome to Yvonne Winifred UG. In this video today, we are looking at the Gomesi. We're going to see where it is worn, how it is worn, where it originated from and everything. So enjoy the video. So the Gomesi is a traditional dress in Uganda. It is mainly worn by the Baganda people and the Basoga people. Those are some of the tribes which are in Uganda. Though guys, all the tribes and many of the tribes in Uganda have taken on the luxury of wearing this piece of clothing as a daily dressing as uh, a dressing for parties you know and everywhere and everywhere so it can be worn by women of all ages especially the elderly or those that have been married off anyway anybody that is of age or is an adult will embrace this kind of clothing especially on parties the traditional parties weddings you know the occasions even uh, burials everywhere you know you will find many ladies dressed like this in the rural areas, guys, you're going to see this form of dressing as a daily dressing. You will find them running their home errands in such a dressing. You will find them at barriers in such a dressing. You will find them at traditional parties, weddings, you know, in such a dressing. Even going to work or at work or even in the gardens digging, you will find all women or most women in such a dressing so it is a floor length dress it has a square neckline and two buttons on the left side of the neckline it has some shoulder pads you know because it has the puff sleeves that go to just a little bit below the elbow and it can be in silk cotton satin polyester linen fabrics and also even in the, our ankara or the kitenge you can get your gomesi in such a fabric so as before you put this uh dress on um uh, there is what we call a chikoi. A chikoi is tied underneath the gomesi to ensure that the fabric does not stick to your body, you know. And also that it helps to define a woman's feminine shape, you know, especially because it has, especially because it has a sash, guys. A sash is tied uh, just a, a, along the waistline a little bit up uh, a little bit before the hips and it will just define a woman's body very very nicely so that is what you can know about the gomesi it is such a beautiful beautiful and modest way of dressing in uganda so how did this dress come into existence guys there are a lot of stories of how it came into existence but guys the one that stands out for me and it really stands correct to me is that back in the day in the early 1900s and in the late 1890s guys there was this one indian designer and tailor called gomez gomez used to make dresses in the buganda region so in the buganda people or women they used to put on a, a suka uh, or a busuti or a boarding, but it was strapless. It was starting from, you know, the upper bust to the floor length. So they used to just, it was kind of a wrap, you know. A, a suka, you can say it was kind of like a bed sheet. And, you know, just something you get and you wrap around your body. And it was strapless. So the designer Gomez used to, you know, modify the dress into other beautiful designs. So this one time there was this lady, a headmistress of um, Namirembe Girls Junior School. She asked Gomez to design 
a uniform for her new school. So she had a school, uh, Namirembe Girls Junior School, that was started in the 1898, but later closed in the 1904 because they had to pave way for the expansion work at Namirembe Hill. So after closing Namirembe Hill, she started a new school that was Gayaza Junior School that later became Gayaza High School. It was a girls' school, the first girls' school, which was Namirembe before, and now it, it was uh, it, it was into Gayaza High School. So she, the, the students, most of the students, I think all the students were in boarding section. So Gomez introduced the dress and most people used to call it the boarding because it was the boarding dress form of the students in the boarding section or in the boarding girls school which was Gayaza high school which again back in the day it was called the Gayaza junior school so the the ladies in buganda used to say it was the chitete chagomez so chitete is dress in luganda and it is also tete in swahili and guys they used to say that is the chitete cha gomez some didn't know how to pronounce gomez very well so they used to say gomez so it got its name from that story they used to say that is a dress by gomez gomez the designer so it is now called the gomez or the boarding some people even call it the busuti and Gomez and some more designers went on, you know, modifying the dress. First, it was kind of, um, it was strapless. Then he decided to add some uh, brass straps, the small spaghetti straps. And after those ones, he introduced what we see now, which are the sleeves. You know, they went on modifying the dress to what we see right now so gomez was the designer the indian designer and the local ladies used to call him gomez so that's where it gets its name so guys that's how the dress came into existence according to my research and also guys a little bit more about the guy as a school it was say that uh, the school after it was Namirembe Hill, after the school, Namirembe uh, Junior School closed, uh, the lady, Miss Frida Allen, the headmistress of the new Gayaza Junior School, started the school by, with just uh, four students. These four students were the daughters of the chiefs back then in the buganda region and from there the school went on to grow and grow and grow into the gayaza high school that we know now it has produced a lot of great ladies ladies that are doing a lot of big and great things in uganda and all over the world guys it is also said that the gomesi was the dress that the queen back then wore at the coronation the 18th coronation of the kabaka then the kabaka is the king in buganda and from that coronation the dress just went viral so some they, there is a lot of um origins of the dress but those are some or oh, that is what i wanted to share in this video today thank you so much for watching remember to like this video also subscribe if you're new here and share it to anybody who might find this information valuable thank you